originally when we first put in the, the spring-like effect rule, the COR, co co-finished restitution, some people call it, uh, we would actually fire a golf ball at a club head that was freestanding and we'd measure the speed of the ball in and the speed of the ball out. That's really what the coefficient of restitution is. So when, when we used to talk about a .83, that meant 83% of the energy from the swinging club went into the ball. 17% of the energy is lost. And you're always going to lose some energy. If you didn't lose any energy, it's like perpetual motion. So if you had a coefficient of uh, restitution of 1 or, or 100% and no energy was lost, you wouldn't hear the impact either because some of the energy goes to the acoustic waves that allow you to hear it. Uh, it a, was a time-consuming test, so within the test center we developed a better way to do this test that didn't involve taking the club apart and could be moved around from a portable uh, to lab to lab and, and on site. So what we have is a, a golf ball shaped bob. It's got the same radius as a golf ball and it's on the end of a pendulum and there's a device called an accelerometer on the, the base of it and we release it at three different heights and it hits the club and we're basically measuring the amount of time that this pendulum shaped uh, golf ball is in contact with the face of the club. So you just hit collect data. This, again, this is the ven invented here at the USGA. Let's see if we can do it from here. And what you see is the result is there's here, the red is the, the raw signal. So there's a little ringing in there, so it's a little noise. And then we filter it out, and then we get the blue, which is basically the average of all those little red things. And then we integrate it. So we find out where they first make contact to all the way where it loses contact. And that gives us a measurement of how flexible the club face is. Now, the more time that these two are on co in contact, the more flexible the face is. And it's easy to, to understand if you think about it from the standpoint of a trampoline. And oftentimes, they'll refer to this as the trampoline effect. If you're jumping up and down on the floor, your feet aren't going to be in contact with the floor very long. But if you're on a trampoline, you're going to hit the trampoline and all the way till you get full deformation or deflection of the trampoline, and your feet will be in contact all the way until you take off. The longer you're in contact, the more flexible the face is. Same thing here. Basic physics. <laughs>